I'm here doing another top 8 video, and uh, why top 8? Well, I don't have enough games for the system, actually, so, uh, guess 8 should be enough. But anyways, today I'll be doing my top 8 PS3 games, and first of all, I'm just going to give a shout out to my buddy, ShadowStray65. He is basically the person that influenced me to go and get a PS3 through the amazing exclusives that they got, and I influenced him to go and get an Xbox 360. And uh, since then, uh, let's just say I got some games that I've had a pleasure to play, and I'm here to go and share my top 8 that I seriously recommend that you guys get. So, I guess we could go and get started. <laughs> Coming in at number 8 is one of those games that gets love and hate, and that is Spider-Man Web of Shadows. Personally, I love this game. This game is really fun, really awesome. It's not better than Spider-Man 2, to be honest, but it's pretty good. And uh, my friend that basically influenced me to go and get a PS3 doesn't really like it, so he basically gave it to me, and I took it home, and I played it. And I really enjoyed it, and I actually finished the game. The final boss was pretty weird. It's like a Venomzilla thing, like there's like Venom heads and stuff. It's pretty weird. And uh, I might need to go and replay the game to go and be as the uh, symbiote Spider-Man, but until then, this is really fun, and I highly recommend you get it. If I recommend that you actually try it first, because I tried it, yeah, I tried it at my friend's house actually, and it was pretty fun pretty fun to be honest and uh yeah so uh that why takes the number eight spot coming in at number seven is naruto ultimate ninja storm a ps3 exclusive and uh, this game is really fun i was meaning to go and get the game for a while until these limited edition steelbook cases were hitting uh gamestop stores so i managed to go and pick it up for the same price as the regular game and uh it did come with the uh, soundtrack and everything, and, uh, and uh, on the back is Sasuke. So yeah, it came with the soundtrack, the game and everything, the manual, and the uh, soundtrack list, I think. Uh, it should be somewhere, yep. Soundtrack list. And um, this is a really, really, really fun fighting game. Uh, I suggest you look up some gameplay. If you like uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja, which was on the PS2, you will definitely love this game, and you'll probably get used to the controls. But uh, I recommend you get the Generations one if you don't own a PS3 because it's basically this game except it's missing some elements from it. Which uh, personally, I, I do not own Generations yet, but I will be getting that one soon on probably the Xbox. So uh, yeah, that's why it takes the number 7 spot because it's an amazing fighter and uh, I highly recommend that everyone tries it. Now this is probably one of the best superhero games that I've came out in a while until the sequel came around and that is Batman Arkham Asylum. I personally don't have Arkham City yet but if I do I will definitely get it on the Xbox 360 just because I don't have many games for it yet so uh yeah Batman Arkham Asylum what can I say it's the best superhero game that has came out in a while and uh you can play Joker exclusively which is awesome and uh I actually finished the game and I haven't touched it since but it's really fun, really awesome, and uh, the price is very, very, very reasonable now. It's like $20. Definitely recommend it. And um, if you like this game, you will definitely love the Arkham City one. I heard that it's ten times better. It does everything that a sequel should. And uh, until then, uh, this takes the uh, number six spot. Coming in at number seven is God of War 3. If your uh, parents could let you play games like this, I definitely recommend you get it because it's really fun and really awesome and uh, the uh, hack and slash got genre this is probably one of the best ones that that came out since until uh, God of War Ascensions comes out but uh, until then this is the best one that is came out in the series and it's really fun really awesome and uh, what can I say? It's a hack and slash game at its finest. The graphics look amazing and it's really fun. So uh, that's why it comes in at the uh, number five spot, I believe. Coming in at number four is Uncharted 3. And uh, a lot of people like Uncharted 2 more just because of the leap. Like from Uncharted 1 to 2, it was amazing. Like they they literally like abandoned so much from Uncharted 1 to 2. But from Uncharted 2 to 3, it's much more of the same. But I love this game. It's really fun. I, I actually finished the entire campaign within one sitting. One sitting. And what I mean by that is that I played the game. I sat there until I finished it through. It was like early in the morning and it was like the afternoon when I finished it. So 
really awesome, really cool. I'm not a huge fan of the multiplayer. Personally, I love the multiplayer in Uncharted 2, but when they just added all of these things, I kind of lost interest. But that's just my opinion, and uh, that's why it takes a number four spot, because it's an awesome third-person shooter, awesome action-adventure game, and I highly recommend you get it. Now that they came out with the Game of the Year edition, personally, I won't be getting it, because it just comes with, like, DLC for the multiplayer, which I don't even play that much anyways. So, yeah, that's why it takes the number four spot. Coming in at number three is Ratchet and Clank A Crack in Time. Ratchet and Clank A Crack in Time is an amazing, amazing platformer, and I recommend you get... Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction and Ratchet and Clank Qu Quest for Booty. Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction was the first one in the PS3 series, and then Quest for Booty basically was the second one. And uh, it was very short, it's a downloadable title, and uh, this one is the third one in the series. And now there's like All for One, which is like a, a different one, like... Like, I think Insomniac does this, like, first they make the trilogy, and then they make a different one. That's what they did with the PS2 one. They made Ratchet and Clank, Going Commando, Up Your Arsenal, and then Deadlock, which is very unique or different to the series. And then they did this, you know, they made the trilogy, and then they made All for One. So, anyways, enough of me rambling on, let me just go talk about the game itself. Again, it's an amazing platformer. It looks amazing on an HDTV. The story is great. I love playing as Clank, and, uh, the, uh boost the uh, boots that you get you know it's very fun very cool and uh if you love platformers you'll definitely definitely love this game and that's why it takes the number three spot coming in at number two is the sly collection now there's another game that tops this game surprisingly but as you guys may know, I love the Sly Cooper series, and I'm happy that they are finally coming out with a fourth game. Thanks to Sanzaru Games, now that we finally have a release date, which is like February 3rd. I didn't make a video because there was like other people making it, and uh, they beat me to the punch, basically. So, uh, anyways, I can't wait for the fourth one to come out, but anyways... These three games, the, the entire trilogy is amazing. My favorite one is Slide 2 Band of Thieves, and just because of, of the story, the gameplay, and just everything about the game is amazing. And then Slide 3, the story was okay, the gameplay was still the same, and uh, I didn't, didn't really, really like Bentley in the wheelchair. I liked Bentley when he was on foot, so it's probably just me. But anyways, the entire trilogy is amazing, and I highly, highly recommend you get it. It's like $30, $20 now extremely affordable within this day of economy in the USA so that's why it takes the number two spot. I'm pretty sure that most of you guys saw this coming if you've known me for a while and uh, I love the Infamous series so that's why Infamous 2 comes in at number one. This is probably the one one of the best sandbox games I've ever played. I love I love just jumping around and stuff. I have actually played this game multiple times multiple times I'm telling you and uh, I'm planning on maybe the summer backlog challenge to go in we play it again and uh, probably get like all of the blast shards or something like do that goal like just get all the blast shards and uh, I uh, I can't wait and uh, right now it's basically sitting on my shelf until I feel like I'm going to play it again. But yeah, Uncharted, Uncharted, <laughs> Infamous 2, it's really fun. There's like a level creation mode thing, which I haven't actually touched because I'm not a huge fan of creating things and whatnot. Like, I really, really, really don't like creating things and whatnot, unless like, that's the game itself, like Minecraft. Minecraft is basically where you create things. And it's basically Lego blocks, and that's why I love Minecraft, because it's basically boats around it. Like, you basically create, but this is this is, is not, like, the main thing that you're supposed to be doing. You're basically, you know, jumping around as coal using your electric powers, uh, being either the good guy or the bad guy. And I'm hoping that Sucker Punch makes a third one. Not very, very likely due to the fact that if you guys saw the good ending, uh, let's just say uh, it ends. You know, the story basically ends, so. Yeah, those are basically my top eight PlayStation 3 games. Thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure going to hit that subscribe button on top of this video if you haven't already. And be sure going to uh, comment down below on your top eight PS3 games, I guess. And to follow me on my Facebook and Twitter. And those links will be in the description below for frequent updates on my future videos when I'll be making them and basically updates and whatnot. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. And uh, see you guys next time. Game on, gamers.